The harvest season in American agricultural regions is truly remarkable, characterized by the ceaseless operation of harvesting machines across countless fields. This documentary will delve into the extensive process of American farmers harvesting millions of tons of crops from the 2020-24 season. We begin our journey in the garlic fields. Garlic is a crop with stable market demand and is relatively easy to cultivate on a large scale. Nutrient-rich and well-drained soil is almost all that garlic needs. Its ability to withstand low winter temperatures and its preference for warmer summer temperatures ranging from 20 to 38 DD day C make it well suited for temperate climates. California and Texas are two of the most important garlic producing states in the U.S. Garlic plants develop into small bulbs about a month before they are fully mature, and some farmers harvest young garlic during this stage as a seasonal delicacy. The process of garlic bulb formation depends on day length and is triggered by 12 hours of sunlight per day. It Typically, garlic varieties require 9 to 10 months to grow and mature though there are short season varieties that can be harvested in about five to six months. The garlic harvest season ranges from late June to August. Farmers start harvesting when the tops begin to turn yellow and fall over but before they dry out completely. For large scale garlic harvesting, mechanized harvesters are essential. A specialized shaker plate shakes the garlic bulbs to remove the soil before trimming the stems. A conveyor belt then transports the garlic bulbs to the harvester's storage bin. Be Farmers allow garlic to dry completely in the field to ease harvesting and improve storability. Once the roots and outer layers have dried, farmers cut the roots and clean off the dirt, storing the garlic bulbs in a cool place at around 13 to 414 to J. More than 30 U.S. states grow watermelons, with the harvest season starting on the East Coast and extending west and north across the country for months. High season varies slightly depending on the region, but for most, watermelons are best from May to September. Harvest time ranges from 100 to 120 days depending on the region and type of watermelon. Florida, Georgia, and California are the top watermelon producing states, with a total harvest of about 2.9 billion pounds of watermelon each year. Farmers determine watermelon ripeness by checking if the skin lights up, white spots turn yellow, and the fruit makes a loud sound when tapped. Harvesting is done manually with sharp tools, ensuring careful handling to avoid skin damage. Harvesting takes place in dry weather with watermelons placed bottom down to prevent sunburn. Most fields are picked twice during the season, with each plant yielding two to three fruits. A team of workers cuts the watermelons, flips them to indicate readiness, and then another team picks them up and loads them onto trucks for packaging. Sugar cane grows predominantly in Texas, Louisiana, and Florida. Florida alone accounts for about 50% of the cane sugar produced in the U.S., contributing to 20% of the total sugar consumption in the country.
but the Florida sugar industry has an annual income of over $800 million and a total economic value of over $1 billion. Mature sugar cane plants grow up to 10 feet tall, and harvesting occurs from September to January using mechanical machines. Mechanized harvesting reduces average harvesting time from 32 hours to just 6 to 12 hours, increasing efficiency and profitability. Farmers harvest a sugarcane crop every three to five years. Southern Louisiana's annual rainfall of 68 inches creates harsh conditions, but sugarcane harvesting continues regardless of weather. Harvesters, often mounted on tracks to navigate muddy fields, cut and process the cane, leaving leaves in the field as fertilizer. The cane stalks are cut into smaller pieces and transferred to trucks for processing. Each cherry season in the U.S. produces around 245,000 tons of cherries. With the harvest season typically lasting from May to July. Farmers prioritize picking ripe berries from each branch until the cherry fields are exhausted. This involves placing cherries into large bins and cooling them to maintain quality. Farms often require 80 to 120 workers who start picking at 5 a.m. and work until it gets too hot. Cherries are cooled with hydrogen to ensure they remain firm and of high quality. The United States is one of the world's largest blueberry producers, with an average annual production of around 700 million pounds. Blueberries are grown in more than 26 states and can be planted in spring or late fall. The blueberry season can begin as early as March and last until May. Mechanical harvesters are used to pick blueberries for the fresh market. Farmers ensure a thorough configuration, maintaining a narrow canopy and sufficient row clearance for harvesting equipment. It's particularly those for wine, are delicate and easily damaged. Most commercial harvesters use roller beaters or stem vibrators to remove the fruit from the vine. Mechanical harvesting is cost-effective and suitable for large vineyards on flat land. Harvesters can run 24 hours a day, equipped with lights for night harvesting, ensuring grapes are picked quickly and efficiently. Peanut harvesters effectively save labor and reduce intensity. The process involves using a peanut digger to cut roots and invert plants, allowing peanuts to dry in the field. Once the moisture content is about 10%, combines collect the peanuts, which are then cleaned and stored. The harvester combines digging, lifting, and reversing operations, ensuring minimal breakage and high picking rates.
Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through the world of American farming. We hope you found this documentary both informative and inspiring. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating agricultural content. We'd love to hear your thoughts and questions in the comments below, as your feedback helps us create better content for you. Stay tuned for more episodes, and until next time, happy farming!